Dylan Saul in command of the field. Green flag is back out. We're back underway. Ryan Repko with the edge in turn number one. Dylan Saul rallies back to his inside out of the corner. They nearly make contact. Top two back into turn number three. Repco giving a generous amount of real estate to the 18 of Saul out of the corner. White flag in the air. One lap to settle it. Saul on the binders hard in turn number one. They touch in turn two. Rep goes into the 22 of Lancaster. Saul trying to save it. He's into the inside retaining wall and Rep goes going to win it. Calamity behind him. Nearly the entire field involved and Rep Co wins it. <laughs> First and second place got crossed up, and I got into Scotty there a little bit in turn three, but I just drove on through it. Wasn't no way I was going to lift. What was going through your mind? Green, white, checkered restart. Same position you were in back on June 28th. What did you do differently? How did you win this race? Just don't cut him any slack. I mean, last race, I, um, you know, I, I mean, I could have done it, but like I didn't, and I went the whole, what was it, two or three weeks just regretting everything, and this tonight I didn't. Sum this up, with just two years under your belt in limited sportsman competition, what's it mean to be a winner at Motor Mile Speedway? Well, not even two years. Last race marked my one-year race in this. But uh, this is, I mean, we've come a long way. I mean, used to, I couldn't even, I mean, I qualified like second to last the first race out here, and I qualified fifth tonight. So, I mean, and, I mean, it wasn't until a few weeks ago that I wasn't even think, able to think about podiums because, I mean, I hadn't been running too great but i mean now we've showed that we can contend for races congratulations who do you got to thank uh reynolds racing chassis they've just they do everything for me i mean they've done a spectacular job this year the car's always been there it's just i had to get a lot of experience under my belt